I'm a descendant of the ancients. That's pretty much it, really. Oh, but just so you know, that's not their actual name. They called themselves the Cetra. We who were born of the planet, with her we speak, her flesh we shape. Unto her promised land shall we one day return. By her loving grace and providence, may we take our place in paradise. You know it. Yeah, well, honestly, I thought that part was just a fairy tale. Mm. Shinra thinks it's true. They've been searching for the promised land for a long time. And they must think you can lead them to it. Can you? <sighs> nope. Someday, maybe, I'll find it in me. But now, not even if I wanted to. Even if you could, that land belongs to the... I mean, to you and your people. Shinra's after it because they believe it's rich in Mako. Mako, they've got no right to claim. But they'll try to take it anyway, won't they? <laughs> Greedy bastards will never stop. Okay, new plan. Y'all take Aerith and get the hell out of here. Me, I'm gonna go bust some Shinra heads. Barret, wait. You can't do that. <gasps> I love that Aerith and Barret get their moment. <laughs> Oh, great! These assholes again! Probably some Shinra science experiment. Whispers. Perhaps best described as arbiters of fate. They are drawn to those who attempt to alter destiny's course and ensure they do not. Like capital D? Destiny? The flow of the great river that is the planet, from inception to oblivion. And you're saying that that flow is somehow... fixed? Yes, for it is the will of the planet itself. So if we're destined for a bleak future, these whispers will try to keep us on that course? Now wait just a damn minute. How in the hell can you possibly know any of that? Spouting that cryptic stuff. Which could all be bullshit. I mean, ain't you a Shinra lab rat or dog? I'm not a rat dog. Yeah, that's that's pretty rude, Baron. When Aerith reached out to me, I found this knowledge of the whispers. Listen to me. Please. Aerith. The Shinra Electric Power Company isn't the real enemy. It started with them, sure, but I promise you, there's a much bigger threat. I just want to do everything in my power to help. All of you. And the planet. Aerith, what are you not telling us? I'm lost in a maze, and every step is taking me further from the path. Every time the whispers touch me, I lose something, a part of myself. <laughs> All of them, the yellow flowers. to walk up to this yeah um hopefully I, I get a moment to s collect myself before we move on um oh boy try not to mess my makeup up 
Um, that was a lot. That was a lot. Um, even from as far back as when Aerith is talking to Barret, and and Barret recognizes, you know, her story, and he says something there that is really important for Aerith's character. Because Barrett says something like, you know, it belongs, the promised land belongs to you and your people. And we don't know what that means, you and your people. Because as far as we know, Aerith is just, it's just it. And how incredibly lonely must that be for her? And yet, she finds some inner strength in herself and in her joy and her happiness and the people around her and the life and hope that she sees that's still there and to know her story and to know that hope that she has that it's all gonna work out is all the more beautiful and it also makes it all the more meaningful when she says when the whispers touch me I lose myself I lose a little bit more of myself because that's all she has. It is so important for her to find that center of her, of who she is. And I could go on for, for days of how important that is as a lesson to all of us individually. But I think you all already get that part. So that scene is a lot that also talks about the whispers <laughs> as it introduces them as the arbiters of fate and um, explains to you what they are as far as Red 13 knows. And I find it so interesting that he uses the turn of phrase, when Aerith touched me, I found this information that the whispers want to keep destiny on course. So every single time the whispers have come in around Aerith, around Seventh Heaven, every single time that they have been present, there's a storyline they're trying to enact. They're trying to keep on course. And that is a really, really important moment for the story is finally figuring out that piece of the puzzle. Really, really good stuff. Really, really amazing scene. Jam-packed with things, and that's why I had to stop for a second and talk with you all about it, because that's a big scene. Okay, let's see what's going on on this, on this TV screen. 